Costa Rica Papagayo. We're here in the middle of the Avenue of the Volcanoes, surrounded by beautiful mountains. And today I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you a little bit better how to prepare for a hike or a trek in mountains. All right, so let's get started with the most important thing. Shoes. You really need good hiking boots. So in this case, these are Loga hiking boots, but really any brand works, really depending on your feet and which shoes you feel comfortable in. Um, personally, we love that these are up the ankle, so they protect your ankle really well, even if you're walking on top of stones or a bit uneven terrain. Next, socks, good hiking socks. Um, here, it again, depends a lot on um, how cold your feet get, um, but I personally love um, these are Carhartt ones or Falke ones. They're really good quality. They're super nice on the feet. Um, they don't make me sweat at all and uh, don't make me have any blisters. All right, next thing, a good hiking backpack. This is super, super important because you carry it for many hours on your back, so you want to make sure it fits you well and it's comfortable and you pack it in the right way too. So this one is a Deuter. Um, it always depends, obviously, if it's a day hike or if it's a trek, and then again, the amount of days that you're going to the mountain for. Um, this one is 65 liters plus 10. So this is really big and can be perfect for a long trek of, could be five days, six days. Um, and it has different sections, which is really nice and easy to organize. And the most important thing when it comes to a backpack is that you have a rain cover for it too. So this one is apart from the backpack, but a lot of backpacks these days come with a good rain cover. So make sure it has it, otherwise get it apart. All right, from here, next thing. Two different options for water. We love to use these water packs just because it's so easy. You don't need to unscrew a water bottle in order to drink, especially while walking. Um, this is a two liter one, so you can really fill this up and it lasts me throughout a good hiking day. Um, otherwise, a good one liter water bottle is perfect. Um, and if you like hot water or tea, um, this one's great too. You wanna have some good nutrition on your way. So these are RX bars, um, which are super simple, made of three egg whites, pecans, cashew steaks but you can easily make your own as well. Just make some dates with nuts. If you want even some oats, make little balls or bars. Super delicious and will give you tons of energy in mountains. You wanna protect your hat and especially in the high altitude that we're at, the UV is very strong. So during the day, especially if it's sunny, a cap is very recommended. Um, it will serve you well. And if it's colder or even rainy, a cozy hat, and especially if you go higher in the mountains, is very, very helpful. Okay, continuing on. Again, about the high altitude. We need sunscreen, and especially here in the Andes, a lot. We're here around 3,000 meters above sea level, so minimum 50, if not higher, and we're applying at various times during the hike to make sure that you don't burn your face. All right, next thing. It is really, really helpful to use hiking sticks. So here, um, there are so many different brands you can use. Um, make sure they are light but not too light and that they're um, packable so that you can make them smaller and easily stick them on the side of your backpack. So again, here are the easiest ways to try some out, but otherwise, they're really good choices to find online as well. So this is a really good option if you don't trust your rain cover for your backpack. This is a waterproof bag. So this one especially is super big, it's 13 liters, so you can fill it up with all your items, phone, um, camera, anything that's not supposed to get wet, close it up, and you don't need to worry about it becoming wet. So this is super useful um, pretty much on any hike or trek. So these two are your best friends, no matter if it's sunny or if it's cloudy. These are buffs, so basically you can use them on your neck, but also on your head, depending. Um, this one is a little bit thicker than the other one. Um, personally, I prefer to have both. Um, they're super lightweight. You can pack them up if you don't need to use them, um, but they will always protect you from sunshine and also from the cold. All right, next thing. Who likes to have cold, freezing hands? So this is why, especially on treks, we like to take some thinner gloves, which are great also for a day hike to use, 
And then also some really thick ones that are waterproof for the night. Because temperatures change during the night can be really, really cold, especially below zero if you're in, in higher places. So this is essential to stay warm and have a lovely evening. So this is a first aid kit. Um, it's already pre-packed with a bunch of different medical things, um, everything you need basically in a first aid kit. But we personally love to also pack some wound creams or like ibuprofen, certain things that you can have as extra. And this whistle, just in case you never know what's going to happen, you're in the mountain, you're in nature. So it's super handy to have this tiny lightweight whistle with you too. So this is a find me spot. This spot is connected to a website. If you have an emergency and you need to be rescued, you can press the SOS button and they will rescue you. Um, besides that, you can communicate with friends. So this is a satellite phone pretty much, satellite texting um, device. But there are Garmin phones that are even more sophisticated so you can even make a call. Doesn't matter really, but this is very, very useful to have when you go out to nature and mountains. Another thing, especially if you go trekking and stay overnight somewhere, a flashlight is super handy to have and especially when you go camp, um, very important to have light at night, to know what you're doing, to be able to, to cook, to arrange your tent, to do anything you need pretty much at night. So, and now the last two items for trekking. So we have here sleeping bag. This is a mountain hardware sleeping bag which has comfort, temperature, 21 Fahrenheit, 6 degrees Celsius, which personally for me is great. I'm not chicken with cold, but <laughs> some other people don't need that warm. Um, so it really depends here as well of where you feel comfortable. And then this is an inflatable pillow, which is super nice to have when you go out, especially for several nights. So you can just inflate with air and you're super comfortable at night in the camp. So the last technical item is a water filter. This one is an Amazora water filter, it is super good, but even the smaller ones work well. So this just gives you the independence. When you pass a river, you can easily just filter the water and put it in your bottle. Even though we have really, really clean water here in the Andes, always better just in case to have a filter with you. Okay, so now we'll move on to the part of the clothing. This is really important because when you walk throughout an entire day, or especially several days, you want to make sure that you're really comfortable and that your clothes are of good quality too. So we always recommend these base layer shirts. This could be from any brand, but it's a certain material which does not make you sweat as much and dries really quickly. So from there, um, this is, for example, a really nice base layer jacket. It's not super warm, but it's perfect to wear on top of this base layer shirt or underneath, for example, a rain jacket. Um, it will keep you warm, not too warm, um, and it's just really comfortable to wear on a long hike. So depending on which area you're going to hike or trek in, um, there is different types of legwear that you can use, which are all really great. So personally, I like basic light cross, which are lightweight, which are also quick dry, so in case they get wet, it doesn't take a long time for them to dry. And then also for the colder areas, this is like a warm hiking trouser type, so it is really, really nice. It has like a special warm layer inside, um, but still it's nothing, nothing heavy, and you can easily put it on and off as well. So next, this is an item which is really nice to put on top, especially on a little bit warmer days. This is a very, very thin sort of wind jacket. It's a little bit rainproof as well. So if you're going on a mountain, it's super steep uphill, and you want just something to cover you up but not really warm you, this is perfect. So I like it a lot if we do some technical climbing or hiking, um, or even on the longer treks and the sun comes out, you don't want to take a ton of clothes, but this will still keep you warm and even protect you as well from the sun. Another item you always want to have when you go to the mountains, a really good down jacket. So this one is especially thick and warm, but there are down jackets that are not as thick. So it's super lightweight to pack, you can make it really, really small and just stuff it on top of your bag. Um, this will definitely keep you warm on the mountaintop, at night, on tracks. Um, it is so cozy and you will always 
be happy that you have it with you. Here in the Andes, you can never actually trust the weather. It looks beautiful in the morning, and then by 11 or 12 p.m., it just looks like dark and gray skies. It can happen, doesn't have to, but for those moments, you want to be prepared. So you want to have a really good rain jacket that actually keeps you dry. This one is from Patagonia, but there are so many great rain jackets out there. With this, I could literally stand myself in a waterfall and I'll still be dry. And I also like to take rain trousers. So these ones are especially handy because you can open them up on the side. So you don't need to take off your shoes when you put them on, but you can just open them up and put them on your legs. Um, again, there are tons of different ones. This is a marmot one. Um, keeping your legs completely dry, I find the quality really good, but just have that in mind that the features of it can be really useful. Okay, so we have all these tons of gear here, but how are we gonna actually take that with us on a hike or a trek? So, it's a bit of a base rule to keep the lighter stuff towards the bottom and the heavier stuff a little bit on the top. And then, of course, the small items, where you can reach them, especially sunscreen, should be in a place that's pocket or on top, so when you need it, you can actually take it right away. So, on a trek, especially since we have this big backpack right now, this is a trekking backpack, so I'm gonna put the sleeping bag on the bottom. So most of the time, especially when you make your sleeping bag really small, it fits exactly in that bottom section of your trekking backpack. You can just stuff it in there and then close it up with a lower zipper. So very important in the beginning to put the water bag. So filling this up with water and then you pretty much just put it into this little part here, the back of your backpack. Almost all the backpacks have it, but make sure when you buy one that it has a little hole, a little opening. And then from here, you can put it, you can push it through, through a little hole here, and then just slide the tube. And this way, you'll have it super handy, reachable. You can even put it here. Um, some have like a magnet system, others you can just stick through. And this way, you can always drink whenever you need to on your high go chat. All right, from here, we're gonna put our pillow just on top of it since it's also really lightweight and we won't use it until nighttime. From here we generally keep packing with our clothes. So putting the trousers, another base layer shirt, and then these are items that we may be using. So this is the insulating jacket which keeps it a little warmer. This is the thinner jacket and the down jacket. And the rain gear goes right on top of that. And then from here, these are a lot of items that we may be using. So the hat or the wool hat, both of them should be in a way that we can reach them as quick as possible. So an item like a first aid kit, but always put on top or on the side where it's really easy to access it when needed. And the same thing with a whistle. So on all of these last items, you want to be really accessible. So the water filter, we're gonna put on top in the middle section here. So we can use it whenever we need. The spot as well for emergencies, you also wanna have it really handy. Same with the sunscreen. You don't know when the sun gets stronger and comes out, so you always want to have that at reach. Bars, best to have in the side pockets if your uh, backpack will have them, otherwise on top is great too. And then last but not least, also the hat lamp, you want to have in a place where you can reach it, where it's accessible. So the thin gloves, they're perfect for day hikes and also for the trekking during the day. We also want to have in a place where we can grab them, so the side pockets are perfect for that too. The hiking backpacks have these perfect side pouches, pouches here for the water bottle to put it in on each side. 
And then lastly, the hiking poles. So these are perfect if you can put them kind of on top of the backpack, right in front. So we have, for example, these little elastics here, which you can adjust. So make them really tight and place them on the side of your backpack so that they don't come off and you can reach them whenever you need to. All right, so I hope this was really helpful for you and you got a good idea of what you will need on your hike or your trek. Enjoy the mountains. <laughs>